Hey guys, Pastor Jonah here. I want to talk to you guys about the river. Uh, I shared about in Ezekiel 47 last Sunday, uh, just about the progression of this river that the man in bronze takes Ezekiel on. It starts uh, as a trickle, it becomes ankle deep, it becomes waist deep, uh, and then it moves on to being just completely in over his head. As you continue to read the story, you find out that that river that becomes this super deep river, uh, that's where the growth starts to happen. Um, you also find out that the river hits the Dead Sea and makes it come alive. It also stays away from the areas that are you know, marshy or swampy and that it actually, uh, at the end of the story you find out, or at the end of the chapter you find out that it's kind of like the Garden of Eden restored, um, that the leaves are used for healing, et cetera, et cetera. Just basically wherever the river flows, big changes happen. And I was talking about how this is a good way to check yourself and see, you know, how deep am I in the things of God? Am I just walking ankle deep with Jesus? Am I, you know, knee deep? Am I waist deep? Or am I all the way in over my head? Um, and so that's really a good thing that we could always check our hearts because sometimes we used to be deeper. We used to be in over our heads with Jesus and something came along and we kind of went backwards, right? Maybe we're just kind of walking with a basic relationship with God today. Uh, wherever you're at, um, obviously we want to go deeper in Christ. We want to go to the deepest part possible in our relationship. But probably what's more realistic for you is to examine where you're at in the river, examine where your, your walk with God is, and go, what's my next step? Right? What's one simple thing that I can swap out um, that's been holding me back that I can swap out to go deeper? And so I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, God has more for you. And uh, if you're willing to seek him, you will find him. So let's pray. Father, I just pray for anyone that's tuned in right now. God, if they are dealing with um, just all kinds of stuff today, I just want to just uh, pray that your Holy Spirit would bring encouragement. Uh, but also, God, that your Holy Spirit would bring conviction. God, that you would give them not just an understanding of where they're at with their walk with you, but the uh, obedience to willing to step out and trust you. Um, so whatever they're going through, wherever they're at right now, uh, I'm believing that you have something bigger and better and that you want to take them and help them to dive in head over heels in love with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you guys, uh, make sure you follow us and make sure you subscribe to get this content uh, we are actually here to help you live a christ-centered life and so if you have a prayer need uh, right below there in the description we would love to pray with you we have people that are ready to connect with you in that area uh, and so I, also most importantly you know you can engage your world by sending this to someone that needs a lifeline so wherever you're at um, thank you for being a part of what god is doing here at clf and our prayer again is that we can help you lead a christ-centered life